Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. My really special guest today is Anna Wisniewski. Welcome. Thanks, Jeff. What have you been up to since you left the AWS blog team? Well, I joined the AWS Disaster Response Program, and basically it's a team that leverages AWS technology to improve real-world disaster response. So why did we decide to do this? Well, you remember our first reInvent together where there was a, a bunch of the keynote was talking about superpowers? Well, really at the end of the day, leadership looked around and realized we do have these capabilities, these kind of superpowers, and that we have this great opportunity to help make the world a better place by helping first responders. So you and I have known each other for quite some time, and I, I've come to understand that you really have a, a personal passion for this. Is that how you got into this role? Well, before you hired me to AWS, I was in the Coast Guard. So I was in the US Coast Guard for about 11 years, and I specialized in search and rescue and crisis communications. Uh, and while I was doing that, I realized there's this opportunity to take emerging technologies and help the way we communicate in disasters and to help the way we respond. So I started the Coast Guard's blog, and I also launched the first Coast Guard mobile app. And then I joined your team at AWS, but then this great opportunity came up to use what I learned in the Coast Guard as a first responder, plus everything you've taught me about AWS services and everything I've learned to basically have my dream job where we can really work to help people. I think that most people, when they hear about disasters, they think primarily about the recovery side, but my understanding is the preparation side is equally important. So it's incredibly important to think about being prepared. A lot of people, when they think about disasters, they think about what happens after. But it's just as important, it's incredibly important, to be prepared and to make sure you have the resiliency to recover after, the, after something's mm -hmm. happened. So we don't just focus on the response aspect of things. We focus a lot on making sure that customers and communities can be prepared and resilient. How does AWS play a role in both the preparedness and the recovery? So there's actually three stages to any response. There's the preparedness, there's the response itself, and then there's recovery. So on the preparedness side, we're starting a program this month called Project Resilience. And new customers can apply to help them become resilient, to get into the cloud, help them become resilient. And existing customers will be able to apply for credits if they've been hit by a disaster to help them get onto their feet again. Um, so that's one way we're helping with preparedness. Um, during the response, we also help. Uh, so a great example of that is work we did with the Red Cross. And we got on Amazon Connect and hundreds of AWS employees uh, basically helped fill out the roster of people able to answer calls for the Red Cross. And they were all over the world, from here to Singapore. Uh, AWS employees were helping answer those calls during the, during the storm. And then on the recovery side, um, a good example is there was a university in Puerto Rico that about two and a half weeks after uh, they were hit by the hurricane, um, they worked with Dynamic Campus to migrate critical workloads onto AWS to enable their students to get back to school faster. To me, one of the really interesting things here is that we're really, we're not simply supplying services or technology. We're saying, here are people with the passion in the background, mm -hmm. and they're going to help with the technology as well. We have a lot of great examples of applying both the know-how of AWS people and the technology we have. The Disaster Response Action Team is a team of all AWS volunteers that is deployable. So for example, we went to California and helped with the fires. And then on the other side, we're using technology, and we're looking into the art of the possible. So one of my personal favorite examples is during the Deep Lens Challenge, someone came up with a solution that used um, the Deep Lens to identify dog breeds. Well, what if we take that a step further and help rescue organizations match dogs to their owners? You know, this, this opportunity to reunite people with their pets. That's, it's just one, one example, and there's bigger examples. There's examples of using image recognition to look for people on rooftops, um, video recognition to look for debris fields that might be a boat, um, look for buildings that have been impacted. There's all of these amazing applications, and, and we're looking for different ways to use it to help people. Let's say anybody for ranging from an AWS employee to a partner to an, a customer wants to get involved. What can they do and how do they, how do they do it? So there's a lot of ways for AWS employees to get involved. They can reach out to our team and ask and, and volunteer to be a part of the disaster response action team. And so that's a great program. Um, for partners, we're actually working on a partner competency. And that would allow a partner to be able to openly say, hey, we're, we're one of these people who can help you during disaster preparedness or disaster response. So if a customer's looking, they can find a good partner. And then for the public, um, I guess the big thing is start at home. 
there are so many nonprofits and so many rescue organizations that have a lot of volunteers, but might not have a volunteer with technical experience or AWS knowledge and things like that. So just reach out locally and be like, hi, these are the abilities I have. You know, I know how to use AWS. Can I help? And then we are hoping to get some hackathons together where we'd be doing disaster response hackathons where we'd ask people to come together and here's the problem we have and see what creative solutions they can come up with. I love the idea of you're really saying start in your neighborhood, start in your own community. Mm -hmm. it, it starts with one good act and then you can go on to change the world. Where do our viewers go to learn more? Well, we have um, a web page. Uh, there's a contact us form on the web page where they can reach out to us and ask questions. And then obviously, as, as you well know, I am very open to people reaching out to me on Twitter and asking questions and I can, you know, the team and I can help them find the right resources. Sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for coming by. Thanks for asking me. This has been AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. Thank you so much for watching.